So hi everyone, welcome to this second video where we're going to go into the detail now to explain how property investing can increase your net worth. And it's all based upon a very foundational, very profound statement. And that statement is this, buy an asset and get paid twice. Now what it really should say is buy an asset and get paid more than once. But for the purposes of this mini-series, to convey the concept, we are going to be working on the basis that the statement is, buy an asset and get paid twice. And let's just think about that for a moment. Think about the power of that statement. It's quite a, an audacious claim. Buy an asset, buy one asset, and get paid twice. Just think about the power, if that's true, Buying something and getting paid twice is quite a claim. So let's just exemplify that using, a, 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 a using an example. Now I'd like you to imagine you're on a street. And on this street, as you walk down past the houses on either side, you are going to come across some houses that look totally normal, completely average. And if you were to go into si inside those houses, you would see they've got kitchens and bathrooms and the decor's neutral. And it's totally fine for you to live. If you were to move in, you can live there from day one. Continuing down that street, you see some other houses and they look a bit better than the house you've just been in. They look rather beautiful. Very, very nice gardens, front and rear. Beautiful top-end kitchens. Lovely decor, feature walls, you can imagine that type of house. And you come out of that house and you continue down your street and you see there is another type of house. One that has been unloved for quite some time, perhaps 30 years. And if you were to go inside, you'd see dated wallpaper, avocado bathrooms. The grounds don't look too well kept. And really, you see, this is illustrative of many streets across the UK. You will find some houses will be neglected, some houses are totally fine, and others are really at the top end of their game. For the purposes of our example, to start with, we're going to imagine that of these three houses, this one's the poor one. This one is totally fine, the average house, and the one on the right is going to be the house that has everything going for it. But it's all on the same street. And what we're going to say is, this house is worth the least, this house is worth a bit more, and this, of course, would be the most expensive on that street. And for purposes of illustration, at this point, we're just going to work on a basis of this middle house, the average house. And let's say we buy one of these average houses for £100,000. Based upon real world examples of what we're doing at the moment. So we have this average house and we've just purchased it for £100,000. How we come with that money is a separate video. But for the purposes of explaining the principle, we have £100,000 and we have just bought an average house on that street. So we have understood this first part, we have purchased an asset. What about getting paid twice? Well, remember when we gave the description, we said that this house, you could live in it from day one. So that's what we do, we find a family, and we say, would you like to live in our house? And they say, yes. And they say, well, if you'd like to live in our house, and every month you'd like to just pay, please send across 100, 600 pounds per calendar month. And every month you receive 600 pounds. There's going to be, in this example, absolutely no costs. You have 600 pounds clear profit every single month. And let's say they stay there for a year. So by the end of the year, you have now received, in rental payment, £7,200. So, so far, let's go back to this foundational statement. We have, we're going to buy an asset and get paid twice. We have bought an asset for £100,000 and we have now been paid every month for a year and have received £7,200. Well, that's just paid once, right? <laughs> You're absolutely right. Well, what about the second form of payment? Well, over time, over the long period of time, house prices tend to increase in value. 
And just check this, just see if this makes sense. Do you happen to know someone who might have purchased a house maybe 5, 10, 20, 30 years ago? And has it gone up in value? Is that house worth more now than when they paid for it? And the answer most likely is yes. And this is then where our second form of payment comes. As over time, the property price goes up in value, it might have gone from £100,000, it now might be worth, let's say in five years, it might be worth £120,000. And this is a five year time frame, which means we have now got an increase of £20,000. So let's just come back to this idea, this very foundational principle, buy an asset and get paid twice. You can buy a house, for our example, £100,000, and you can get paid rental income, and you can get paid in capital appreciation. This is rent, and this is cap, app, capital appreciation. In the next video, we're going to explain and explore how we can measure that increase in net worth by looking at return on investment. If you've got any questions on this one, feel free to drop them in the comments below.